Okay, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. So, toy room clean out, part 10. Yes, I said 10. But luckily, like, this is the last, like, part of the room. It's this back corner over here. You can see it pretty good. This is the last section. So, let's uh, get started. Because after I clean this section, we can start pulling organizational things in. All right, so the obvious thing I gotta move right here is this big kind of like basketball stand thing right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side. Okay, so let's go see. All right, so right here is a sentimental piece is the rocking chair where I rocked my babies in. I rocked the children I used to um, babysit and nanny. So this chair is very sentimental. So, <laughs> but first let's just go right to the top of what's actually here. So honestly, this looks like a lot of clothes in here. So this should be fairly fast, right? So here's squinkies in here. So at least this is like organized. So we'll put the squinkies to the side. And then let's see, uh, so a lot of clothes. And you know what? A lot. Of, this is like a 2T, yes, yeah, see? This is a lot of stuff that doesn't fit. This is very on. Yeah, this is stuff that doesn't fit. And we have the spring clothes sharing table coming up. But that's not until March. And it's the beginning of January. So we got some time before that. Let's see. Yet another, like, lightsaber sword. Oh, yeah, and it works. My kids love these things. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I mean, really, honestly, if you look at this, this is all just clothes. Like, I can go through this and get stuff ready for toy sharing. I mean, I know I don't want to hold on to it for two months, but at the same time, it's like I know what a blessing toy sharing is. So we'll just we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. This goes to a Paw Patrol toy that I was looking for. Oh my gosh, I don't think not one of these clothes fit. I really don't. And, well, this says this has that size. This is not that. This is like a like a two T. Okay. So yeah, guys, all this is is clothes. So I just got to sort all the clothes. All right. Well, that seems fairly easy. This is um. Oh my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> this can be a tossy tossy. This was the thing for the Pikachu costume that was not last year. Wasn't it even, was it the year before that? When were we Pikachu? I think 2016, the year that Pokemon Go came out. Yeah. Oh, an eagle shirt. Yeah, okay, so these are definitely clothes that I need to go through because that actually could fit, but the rest of this, all right, peepers, like tossy, tossy. Here's another costume. This is Halloween costumes. Here's the bag to it. Oh my gosh. This is the Charizard costume. So this has been sitting in here probably for two years. Yep, two years, because that's the year that we had had it. All right. Um, oh, Santa rocks. Look how little. Oh, the chart strings. Oh, little sweater. Yeah, see? All these clothes that were just sitting on this rocking chair. All right, so that's easy. If this is just clothes, I'm excited. Like, that's an easy thing to take care of. All right, and, and, and the Pikachu costume. Here's the Pikachu costume. And very dirty. Yes, it is, but you can wipe that down. Broken pencil, tossy, tossy. Um, clothes. And ha, ha, ha. You know what this is? This is a sombrero, right? And I actually wear this every year for my kids' end of the year part school parties because I always do a, a fiesta in the classroom as a room mom. And I always wear this and I say my name's like Coco Loco. And the kids love this, but it needs to go in another spot. Like I need to have a spot for like fun dress up things. And over here is like, okay, Charizard's tail. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, a full... Oh, this is a nice, sweet little coat, too. That's a nice coat. Oh, my gosh. I was sitting there. Oh, my gosh. So, the ears for Pikachu. What's over here? I'm just going to pull it up here. More toys. Oh, little kitty. More plushies to go on the plushy thing. This is like a dress-up thing for, like, this is called, like, Diggerland. That's a fun place for the kids to go. Oh, Paw Patrol.
Patrol. Oh my gosh. And then over here is some books, books, more books, always tons of books. Okay. At least they're in that compartment, right? That's pretty good. And back here, wait, back here is a baby book, right? Okay. Baby book. So cute though. All right. Let's go on this side. Cause there's stuff over here. Oh, I guess I did. Oh, the Charizard actual, oh, tossy, tossy. Oh my God. Close. Everything over here is a clothes. Uh, you know what this is? This is a thumb sucker guard. So, because my little one used to suck his thumb, he still kind of does. Here's the bag to the clothes. Oh, maroon, maroon. Okay. And oh my gosh, dusty, dirty clothes. Oh, this is just wow. All right. Here we go. More clothes. I don't even know what sizes they are. More clothes. I have so many clothes and you know what? I'm kind of glad I'm finding all of this now because uh, since we are, I am doing the um, minimalist game challenge where you gotta get rid of like, you know, things each day. This will make it easy. Clothes will be quick for like those uh, bigger days when it gets to like, you know, day one, you um, get rid of one thing. Day two, you get rid of two things. When it comes to like day 23 and 24, when you're getting rid of like 23 things each, you know, that day, it becomes easier. All right, um, I, that's how I roll. Oh my God, <laughs> and then a squinky thing. Slipper, um, that does not fit. Okay, we can definitely donate that. And little kitty, 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 okay. And you know what? Look, I'm gonna move this to the side real quick. Guess what's in back here? A TV is back here. <laughs> There's a TV back here. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. Okay. I forgot that there was even a TV back there. So, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to find space for that or room for that. But, oh, here's another ball. Let's get this right. But that pretty much is the last part of the room, um, that I went through everything to see what was there. So now what I have to do is I'm going to look for organizational pieces, right? And I'm doing the no spend challenge as well. And in December, I put money away, like cash away from December's checks to buy organizational pieces. But here's the thing. I have so much hoarded stuff throughout my house that I believe, and if I, I'm remembering correctly, I have a piece in the garage I can use and I have a piece in the basement that I can use. And I'm gonna show you them because that'll be a way to stay in the no spend January and not spend that like, you know, December money that I had saved for organizational pieces in here. I'm gonna shop in my house, if you will. So I'm actually gonna queue out and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take you to the basement and the garage and go see if I can find them. Okay, guys, so we're in the basement. So I guess this is almost like a mini tour of how hoarded my basement is. But yeah, I just came to me of using things that I had before buying organizational pieces because I know I have hoarded stuff away in this basement. So if you can see, there's a little thing right over there uh, that I can walk over to. That's an organizational piece that I can pull up and not buy. And then... The other piece that I was thinking of that I can't believe I'm going to admit to you that I trash picked uh, is back here, if I remember correctly. It's somewhere over here. Okay. And you know what? Oh, yeah. There's a thing right over there. See that piece over there? I think there's hardly anything in that. I might be able to pull that up too if needed. But the, where is it? Where's the thing that I'm looking for? I know it's it's somewhere around here. In this back corner. Oh, right there. Okay, see it with the colors? <laughs> yeah, so somebody was getting rid of that. It was actually like a play. Um, I think it was like a daycare was getting rid of it, and there's nothing wrong with it. So guess who pulled it up the curb and put it in her car? And guess how many years ago that was? <laughs> Probably like five years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. But hey, five years later, I'm using it. <laughs> I know that's pretty bad. But yeah, I'm going to actually use this. So, okay. So, see, here's the thing. I'm so glad that I, I have it and I hoarded it and I don't have to spend money to buy it. But I don't want this to be encouraging to my hoarding, right? <laughs> because it's not good to hoard. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. And this actually kind of like sparked an idea for me to maybe do videos on like because it is no spend January to actually like 
use my hoarded stuff <laughs> and not buy it because I'll do that. I'll totally go buy new things and I forget about the hoarded things. So anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so there's that definite piece that I'm going to use. And then if needed, I'll use that piece that's um, over there. And then I do have that other one. I don't know if you can see it. It's way over there. <laughs> I can go um, use that piece. And then there's another thing in the garage that I can use. And you know what? I'm curious. Um, this basement, I can't believe I'm showing the world this basement. It's pretty bad. But I'm actually thinking maybe I should do like a basement, like hoard, my hoarded basement tour video. That might be something to to um, record. But I'm not getting into this uh, basement until maybe the next year but okay guys I'm gonna head over to the garage okay guys so we're in the garage now a portion of the garage and look what's under here that I remembered this three-tiered like stackable little organization bins so that can go in the playroom all I have to do is just like give it a really thorough like cleaning like disinfectant wipes and um, you know what? I think somebody was tossing this out like years ago. And when I say years ago, probably like four years ago, thinking I could use it. But I guess now I can finally, I can use it. But yeah, wipe it down. So that's something that um, I can go ahead and uh, clean that off and put in the toy room. Okay, guys. So I got to wrap up this video because it's getting too long. But over here in my son's room, there's another organizational piece that I'm going to pull into that room. That way he has room for underneath of his desk because his desk is right here, just so he can put his feet. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pull this in there too. So now I'm so happy because I don't have to buy anything. And the next step, finally, is gonna be putting stuff back in the room and putting things in the drawers. And obviously I'm not going for like beauty of it, I'm going for functionality and that's okay. Like as much as I wanna make it beautiful and crafty, I can still make it nice, but I really need to focus on the function. So, of the organizational pieces. So, okay guys, I will catch you next time, bye.